Yesterday was both amazing and horrible. Let's begin with the amazing and then move on to the horrible, also because that's just what happened chronologically. So a couple of days ago, I'm out going to do some grocery shopping and as I'm walking home carrying this stuff, it's really hot and everything and I'm like, ooh, it'd be fun to have a beach day. I haven't been to the beach in a really long time and given my condition, there's always the thought in the back of my head for things like this of you never know when you do something, it could be the last time you do it. So I'm like, I at least want to go to the beach once this year, at least try to enjoy it because of, you know, the last three months, breathing issues, coughing and everything, just been very difficult for me to do anything outside really. So I'm like, at least I want to have one day to enjoy. I'm doing slightly better lately. So let's take advantage of that and just have a beach day. So message my best friend, ask him like, hey, what are you up to this weekend? You want to do beach day? So, you know, we go back and forth. We start planning stuff. Since his wife is very pregnant, and at this point we can kind of handle the same amount of things because of my condition and because of the fact that she's so pregnant, I'm like, all right, I'll leave it up to you guys to kind of plan, decide where we're going to go, what we're going to do, because I know I can pretty much handle what she can handle. So it's in your hands. So that's pretty much the plan. And then yesterday, I wasn't really sure how I'd wake up because every day it's kind of like when I wake up within the first hour or so that I'm able to determine, all right, today's going to be a good day or today's going to be a bad day. Depends on how I slept, depends on, you know, a lot of different things, but I was a little nervous because you never know what's going to happen. And I'm like, I really hope I don't have a bad day and I have to end up like bailing. That would just really suck. But wake up, feel really good. Not having any, well, not having too intense of breathing issues, not coughing too much. I'm feeling good. I slept relatively well, so I'm not too tired. I'm like, all right, today's going to be a good day. And even better than that, I was supposed to take the subway to meet my friend at a subway station near their house. Instead, he's like, oh, you know, I'll come pick you up instead. Uh, I have a little more free time than expected, so I'm going to come pick you up. So I'm like, all right, cool. Don't need to take the metro, don't need, or the subway, don't need to carry any bags or anything. All good. I just need to walk out the apartment, get in his car, and have an awesome day. So that's pretty much what ended up happening. Maybe like an hour later, he comes, picks me up. Uh, we chill outside a bit, get in the car, drive back to his place, uh, pick up his wife, grab all the stuff that we need, and then we drive off. And at some point, I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, what is the plan? Like, where are we going? What are we doing? And turns out, because his wife is pregnant, uh, she preferred to avoid lake water because there's some bacteria and stuff like that. And you know, first child, everything. So I don't want to judge. It's it's not my place. I, I mean, maybe my wife would do the exact same thing in her position. So no judgment there. So instead of going to the beach, we ended up going to one of his friend's place who lives up north, like in the, in the woods and everything, like really nice pool in the shade. Everything was great. So it's like, instead of being a beach day as planned, it ended up being a pool day, which was totally fine. I am slightly disappointed because I was really looking forward to the beach and it's just a different experience, but <clears throat> I still don't regret anything. It was a really fun day. So as I mentioned, the pool was really nice in the shade, which was good for me because especially with the new hair, I'm like, I do not want to get a sunburn. And because it was in the shade, I'm like, oh, cool. I don't even need to put sunscreen on. So it seems like I didn't get a sunburn. I'm pretty sure sometimes it takes like a day to kind of pop up. So maybe I'll get a surprise later on. But for now, I think everything went well. So stayed in the pool for a while, chilled, had fun. Uh, there was actually jets in a corner. So I, I kind of got, gave myself a back massage. So that was nice. The only downside, the only damper about the day was the fact that because I'm now so skinny, I have zero body fat. So I basically get cold immediately. Anytime it's even remotely cold, it's just like snap, I'm shivering. So at some point I start shivering, I'm like, all right, I guess I'll get out of the pool and then outside with the wind, even though it was warm because I'm in the shade and it's windy and everything, end up shivering. So, you know, wrap myself in the towel. Everything was fine. I just shivered a bit and that was the only kind of 
damper on the, the entire day. So, and by the way, I want to make it clear, on the entire day. Because remember in the beginning I said it was both awesome and horrible? The awesome part was the day. Horrible part was the evening and the night that followed. So as we head back, we stop at a restaurant to grab some food. I'm not that hungry, but I'm like, you know, I haven't eaten that much today, so let me at least get some food in my system. So ended up getting some like spicy, like breakfast type potatoes, like, you know, diced potatoes, stuff like that, um, with some garlic sauce. And it was really good. I really enjoyed it. The problem was by the time we stopped and ate, it was 6.30. And unfortunately, my body seems to have difficulty handling food. Well, no, it has no difficulty handling food. It has difficulty keeping food inside my body after a certain time in the day. I don't know that exact time. From now on, I'm just going to try to avoid eating after 4 p.m. because anything beyond that is, always seems kind of risky. <coughs> but in that situation, I'm like, you know, I'll make an exception. Hopefully everything will be fine. It was fine until I got home, but we'll get to that later. So the ride home, it is pretty far. Ride home from there to their apartment and then from their apartment to my apartment is maybe 90 minutes. And unfortunately, for some reason, that was the time of day that my body is like, yep, I'm going to have trouble breathing now and I'm going to start coughing a bunch. So <coughs> every time I talk about coughing, it just comes out. So basically spent the entire car ride um, trying to breathe and not to cough too much. And it was literally to the point where I had to pull the seatbelt forward and tuck it under my arm so it wouldn't press against my chest because that was making it more difficult for me to breathe. So pretty intense. Not like I feel like I'm going to die intense, but enough that I'm just like, all right, let's just close our eyes, focus on the breathing, try to get my body relaxed so I can breathe easier. And, you know, with time, it did slowly get better. And eventually, by the time I got home, uh, I was actually feeling almost back to normal. And by the way, I'm, I'm really lucky because <clears throat> I was half expecting to have to take the subway home. And the thing is, like, all right, he would have dropped me off at the station. Then I just have to wait, get on the train and then transfer to another train. And then it's only once I get to the station near my home that then I would have to walk. So not that much walking involved, but given the condition I was in, I'm just like, I don't know if I can handle it. Like, obviously if I had to, I would have done it. But luckily my friend like offered to drive me home. So I'm like, yeah, thank you. I, I could definitely use that. So he drove me home. That was definitely easier for me. And by the time I got home, I was doing relatively good until I walked into the apartment and realized, oh, Crap. I forgot to turn on the AC before I left, so the apartment is boiling. Okay, maybe not boiling, it wasn't that intense, but the thing is, when you have difficulty breathing, any kind of remotely warm temperature just makes it that much more difficult to breathe. And the fact that the AC unit is in the living room, <clears throat> I need to turn it on for a period of time before the fresh air reaches my room. And by then I was so exhausted from the day and spending time in the sun and, you know, swimming and all those things and, you know, spending the last hour and a half struggling to breathe. I'm like, yeah, this is really going to suck. And sure enough, it did. Now for the last couple of days, I've had to uh, lot, or start the night at least in a half seated position. And then eventually once my breathing kind of slows down and I'm able to relax. I'm usually able to transition to a more, you know, normal position. But last night I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. So let's just start in the seated posi position as usual and see what happens. So as expected, it was really hot. I had trouble breathing, which ended up making me cough, which ended up making me cough more and more and more and be even more breathless. And it got to the point where I'm like, uh crap i'm gonna throw up so rush to the bathroom throw up and let me tell you that 
when you eat potatoes with garlic sauce on it, it's delicious. When you throw up potatoes with garlic sauce, it is disgusting. It is horrible. One of the worst things I've ever thrown up. I mean, it did feel good after I was done throwing up because my body felt better and I was able to relax a bit, go back to bed. Breathing was a little better. Uh, I was able to reduce the coughing to the point where I was able to relax and start sleeping. And the downside is I literally spent the entire night and even this morning burping up garlic and I'm just like, oh my God, this is horrible. <laughs> so I definitely regret those potatoes from yesterday, but you know, live and learn. So um, yeah, start in the seated position, eventually relax enough that I can almost fall asleep. But the thing is like at some point my body is just like, I can't handle this position anymore. And I'm, at that point, I'm like, all right, the breathing seems better. I'm not coughing anymore. So let's just try to kind of lie down a little more so I can actually fall asleep. So that's what I do. End up falling asleep. And then, uh, you know, wake up multiple times throughout the night as usual. And at some point I wake up and I'm like, all right, I got to go to the bathroom. So get up, go pee, come back. And I look at the time and given the impression that I have how you know, how I feel and everything, it feels like it would be around 5 a.m. I look at my phone, it's 12.30 at night. I'm just like, oh my God, I barely slept a couple hours. This is gonna be such a long night. And of course, by then, breathing issues are back, so I have to once again begin in that seated position and eventually my breathing slows down. I'm able to feel better enough that I can kind of go down a bit and eventually fall asleep. But, you know, wake up, fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep multiple times throughout the night. Every once in a while, I have to shift to that seated position. And eventually it's like by 7 a.m. I'm just like, yeah, okay, let's let's get up. I can't take this anymore and I'm, I'm exhausted. So yeah, definitely not the best day. So yesterday was both, that's why I said in the beginning of the video, yesterday was an amazing day and a horrible day. Well, the day was amazing. Being with my friends, chilling in nature, being in the pool, everything was awesome. The evening and the night was horrible, as you can probably tell. And I'm definitely not going to eat those potatoes for a very long time. Even though they were good, I just don't want to risk it anymore because throwing those up... <sighs> anyway, so yeah, that was my day yesterday, both good and bad, which is kind of a summary of my life lately. There's good and there's bad. And whenever things get better, something else goes bad. So it just always evens out to good and bad. So yesterday was both a good and a bad day. And hopefully today will be a better day. We'll see. At least I won't throw up potatoes because I'm definitely not eating potatoes today. Uh, all right. Well, that was my update for the day. Talk to you tomorrow.